Good morning, Morgan. It's Nick, your friendly neighborhood part-time gamer guy. And this time, I've been spending a little bit of time in space with Prey. Before we get started, I want to let you know that there are some very minor spoilers following. If you read my full write-up, I protected you from learning exactly what you'll be fighting against. That's not really possible in a video. So if you want to stay totally oblivious to the enemies of the game, you should stop watching immediately and go rebury your head in the sand. You've been warned. Now, let's get to it. Beginning your playthrough of Prey, you take on the role of Morgan Yu. With your gender fluid name, you join your older brother Alex's company. It's your first day at work for Transtar, a mysterious mega corporation known for its production of neuromods, a consumable design to increase the abilities of the human race. You picked a great day to start, by the way. There's some strange stuff that's gonna start happening. Your day just got terrifyingly weird. First thing you'll probably notice while playing is that this game looks awfully familiar. Personally, if you told me this game was Bioshock 3, I'd have believed you. Just take a look at some of the scenery. Rapture 2.0, no? There are more similarities than just the look and feel, but I'll leave you to find those on your own. If you get a chance to take in the graphics, I would encourage you to do so. I know that can be hard with murderous things chasing you around, but do your best to blast them with your shotgun so you can enjoy some GD peace and quiet. You'll appreciate it. Once you've taken a moment to absorb the art style and architecture, you're gonna get bombarded with missions. Well, you'll probably get bombarded before you absorb all that, but anyway. These missions you undertake will mostly be done at someone else's behest. You might notice that the particular art style of this game makes it difficult to know who you can trust. Pretty neat if you ask me. As for the story itself, it's a good one. Without going into too much detail, you're going to learn the possible outcomes of the game fairly early on. Those outcomes are entirely up to you and the choices you make throughout the game. Who should you side with? What path will you take? Do you take the blue pill or the red pill? If you take the red pill and find yourself descending into the rabbit hole, just know, it doesn't get any easier the further you progress. This game is hard. I played on the normal difficulty, and it was probably the hardest game I've played since playing The Witcher 3 on Death March. Probably harder than that even. Just keep an eye out for nightmares. And every type of phantom you encounter. And telemorphs. And technopaths. And you get what I'm saying. As I mentioned in my write-up, supplies are scarce. Supply management and resource recycling are key. I'm not particularly good at either of those things. Nick shoots at everything that moves. Nick also rarely uses recycler charges. Don't be like Nick. I should also warn you about space combat. It's a thing. Have you ever seen a human gyroscope? It's the spherish machine that they use to train astronauts where it just kind of flips and spins their bodies all over the place and everywhere. I imagine that they weren't actually training astronauts, but rather gamers to play prey. Man, it makes my head spin sometimes. While prey is quite difficult, that doesn't mean it isn't a good or fun game. Quite the opposite, in fact. I like that I had to improvise many, many times throughout the game, and you'll have to improvise. Really, I kind of feel like a genius when my plan works out. And remember those feelings. They'll keep you sane through all the punishment you endure. Speaking of punishment, are you ready to dole some out? I dole mine out at about 10% of the time. That's roughly my hit rate. It sure would help if Morgan knew how to shoulder a gun and aim down the sights. What is this, 2007 Bioshock? When you enter combat with your enemies, you'll find yourself relying on the combat wheel and inventory menu quite a bit. I did at least. It's a bit jarring to go from frantic, adrenaline-filled combat to near standstill back to frantic, adrenaline-filled combat in an instant. But it does give you a bit of time to process all the enemies you found yourself surrounded by. Prey is a pretty polished game with only a few glitches and inconveniences. Most are harmless, like having your jetpack be deployed instead of climbing, or having non-existent enemies begin detecting you. Others are quite frustrating, like the fact that you'll have no choice but to soak up damage in certain missions, or that access panels are sometimes impossible to enter even when they're open. Check it out. Nah, I didn't want to go through that completely safe, hidden passageway 
to an area with some valuable loot at the other end anyway. So now you might be wondering, should I buy this game? I wrapped up my playthrough of Prey on the Xbox One at around 21 hours. I admit that this isn't my go-to genre when it comes to playing games, but I was definitely pleased with how the game turned out overall. Prey has a lot to offer in terms of replayability, time value, and a solid storyline. If you're interested in those aspects of a game, I can safely recommend Prey to you. Even gamers short on time should find Prey to be accommodating. Since the endgame is known to you fairly early on, and the story doesn't progress wildly in any one session, it's still a decent play for those who can't dedicate constant attention to it. If you don't enjoy horror or thriller type games that make you a little hesitant to turn the lights off, look elsewhere. Prey is capable of making you jump like the best of them. Alrighty part-timers, I've just imparted some quality Prey wisdom upon you. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, share, or subscribing to my channel. If you thought this video sucked as bad as fighting technopaths in space, give it a thumbs down. As always, I'm open for discussion either way. You can also find links to buy the game in the description, as well as links to my full review, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and Discord. Thanks for watching! Until next time, sleep tight!